Hello guys and welcome to the Season 3 NRSL Universe of Orlando Cup Series All-Star Showdown here at Coca-Cola. I'm here once again joined by Anthony Ritchie, a.k.a. Oreo Cup Series. How you doing? Uh, good. How you doing? I'm doing very good. Well, we had an interesting Outback Showdown. It came down to, it was down to, it was from 27 cars down to 15 for the win and it ended up being Berg and Jackson being in the top two. So now we're going to find out our top two for this one. On the pole is Kyle Matthews, second is Clay Rogers, third is Angel Navarro, fourth Chris Levier, fifth is Nick Smith, sixth is Jeff Blair, seventh is Alan Cavagnaro, eighth is Kate Skirvin, ninth is Jeff James, and running up the top ten is Levi McIntyre. Here's the rest of your starting lineup, and we're going to announce them right now. Joseph Lombard, Eric Enrage, I'm sorry for the faded, that's just how they are in-game for 2014. Ramian Fisher, Isaiah Bernique, DJ Curtis, Ty Dent, William Duncan, Michael Walton, Anthony McCurry, Austin Weiner, Eric Powers, Anthony Ritchie, Brendan Berg, Benjamin Miles, Henry Cavanaugh, Matt Dalio, Joseph Vanesto, Joshua Balkin, Brody Talley, David Rivera, and, and on the final row, Nathan Hudson, and Charles Jackson. Jackson making a return to the Cup Series uh, for the first time since last season, so very good to see there. And uh, our one-off one -off drivers are Henry Cavanaugh, Eric Powers, Kyle Matthews, uh, Nathan Hudson, Charles Jackson, Ty Dent, Levi McIntyre, uh, Kate Skirvin, Joseph Lombard, Eric Enrage, Brendan Berg, Alan Cavagnaro, Clay Rogers, Jeff Blair, Benjamin Miles, William Duncan, and Austin Weiner as they gave the command. We got a lot more for one off. There's 17 in total for those, so it's going to be interesting to see which of the top two can get in. What are you looking forward to see that can possibly get in from that, uh, from that group? Uh, well, let me just say, like, I think I myself, I think I should get in. I don't know if I am in already or not, but, Unfortunately, um, uh, you I'm not. Are not. Oh, well, I'm going to be pulling for me, and I'll be pulling for Angel Navarro. Hmm. You know what, obviously I'll go for, yeah. for what I normally do in the showdown, one pick from the, from the current, uh, series, and then from the one-off. For the current, you know what, I'm going to go with the guy that really... I'm surprised that didn't get a good run that's not in. That'd be Anthony McCurry. I think he'll probably get in. And as far as the one-off drivers, I'm probably going to go with Skirvin making her cup debut in that 40. I think she'd probably make it in. As Green and flag we Me Matthews gets a great start at the line. Great move Run by away. the team. Faded Geico Chevrolet. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind the cars. It's fine. I'm sorry for those who are in the series that are faded. I just don't trust the graphics thing. It's just, I don't. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. But <laughs> Clay Rogers goes to the inside for the lead as uh, those are the top two right now. Oh, almost four wide in the back. Did you see that? Yes, I noticed. And they're really getting close right there. There's Levi McIntyre in the 36, making his cup debut. He'll be, uh, well, try he'll be trying to help the 17 of Rivera. Because those two are Walmart Cup Series drivers that are in the field. And also, uh, Austin Weiner wouldn't get the chance of the 84. Four wide. So, there's Weiner in the 84. You can see in the outside line. There's Rivera in the 17. I seen him earlier. Where did the 17 go? There he is in the Windex C4 Fusion. There's the 29 of Smith. Get a save. Eric Enridge was the one who clipped him. I don't see Wait, him. Wait, watch turn three. Watch turn three. You never know. This guy could come. Oh, somebody could come in the apron. Smith, don't you dare. <laughs> oh, and they are going to keep it going somehow. Wow. My goodness. My word. Great save here. And I'll tell you something. This track, they really get good saves out here. Whoa, Smith went really low. Whoa. Oh, I love how to shake there. But, Again. Uh, it's really interesting to see that though for these guys. Really, they'll make some ter they'll make some terrific saves on this track, no matter what mod it is. Yeah, as we saw earlier in the first race yeah, for the other series, we had two saves, and but then here, one but here comes his uh his uh affiliated teammate for this race, William Duncan. Good move by Navarro to really talk to Duncan to get in here, because that's a bold <laughs> move for uh, Navarro to really get Duncan move up to the front. Top two BK Racing. Nice. They've been the best underfunded team in the NRSL. At the time, last season, Daniel Voyles won the 500. Andy Thomas was the uh, point leader. Uh, as contact was there, but they saved it. 
And then Telepass ended up being the 83, and then the 93 was by Jake Baskinger. Telepass after that, one at GGR, then at the Tornado Death Roll, and then Baskinger really, well, couldn't do shit. McCurry, though, <laughs> up to the third position. Er, oh, from here third comes to the second now. And here comes Eric Powers in the 07. Mason, his son, he's done so well in the cup. He's got three wins. His father, Eric, now trying to move up into the third position. How would it be for Eric to meet up with his son, Mason? They basically just split the BK racing cars right there. Now back to first and fourth. That's very surprising. Have a BK okay, sandwich. Okay, first and sixth. <laughs> Make it a whopper. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. I know. James and uh, Lombard are working with each other to hunt back in the pack. And I'm amazed, though, at that close call that we've had. We've not had any, you know, crazy like, racing going yeah, on. Yeah, crazy wrecks. There's Onesto and the Maserati. We know uh, Pollard Third. as I forgot to get my ticket off, I apologize. Pollard Third and the Volkswagen Jetta, he's in the all-star race. McCurry and the Audi is not. But Maserati really has had such a miserable season. They've just been struggling even on the road courses they've been struggling in it's been it's been bad luck for mr onesto so for onesto what do you do for the showdown do you really want to show him hey i'm a guy to watch keep an eye on me get top two or wh what's the plan yeah the plan as you said just be on lookout i'm coming because he's not wasting any freaking time going up to the front or working his way up to the front he wants to make it to the all-star race and he's going to show it in dominant fashion possibly comes to 66, he just got the second position of Jeff Blair, and I'm going to keep this up, honestly, because I do forget names at times. Nathan Hudson, who started in the dead, or Hudson and, um, and uh, Jackson started in the final row, and they're starting to work their way up, even though they got kicked up to the high line. <laughs> That's a cool fire energy scheme. It's all gray. I know. It's, it's pain in as hell. There's Skirvin, one of my picks right there, trying to get underneath Balkan and McCurry three wide. Everyone's all spread out, so yeah. everyone's all spread out. There's no uh, four wide. Absolutely, we had two cautions in the Outback race, and one of them was going in a five wide, then the four, and then a second one was going four wide, and that didn't work as well. Ooh, Balkan made it so close on turn oh. two. That was really close. I had to, I had to stop and see that. Like, wow. Oh, but bad for the lead. Jeff James and the 33 Sprite Chevrolet to the inside of the lead, but Brody Talley's going to help out the 66 right there. So Michael Walter Racing, they've only had one car this season. Now they actually got two cars with them in the field. Fisher is in here, who's had an okay season despite no wins as a rookie. And then you got the 55 of... Where is the 55? I've seen him earlier. Off the... Um, it's Cavagnaro, but... Oh, he's in the dead last position. <laughs> he's got to work his way up. Yeah. And then the 66 we just seen earlier of uh, Flair. Now Bird. He won the Outback Showdown. How would it be? Here he comes. Two and four wide attempt to come in the three. Oh, uh -oh. this is bad. And Bird's in a uh -oh. bad spot. They're gonna, oh, they're going to And they're going to keep through. it going. And... Look at the 78 of Benjamin Miles take the lead away from uh, James at the time. <laughs> yeah. Onesto and the Maserati is going to get second at the line over Balkan. He's going to lose in turn three or turn one because he's on the outside lane. Absolutely. And, you know, another one-off driver. And then and then we're, we're seeing more of our um, drivers in the Cup Series more making uh, stands. 83 of Duncan again. 47 of Enrage. They're coming up. There's the 36 of McIntyre. McIntyre is getting close to where 17 of Rivera is. A good friend of his right there. Where is uh, Weiner in the 84? I haven't seen him all race. 84 car? Uh, I don't know. Oh, he's in the back of the pack. Oh, they separated. And wait Big a minute. time. Oh, they really separated here. McCurry's in the back. Oh, wow. What happened here? Oh, the caution! And, That's what oh, happened. caution! There's a caution now. Miles and uh, and uh, William Duncan are the top two. I was wondering why there was a separation and Nathan Hudson involved. It looks like. Jeff wow! James, he's got oh, the, he's the got guy who just went a lap earlier. Kyle Matthews looks like our pole center may have been involved. I think McCurry was involved. And from what it looks like, that's what it possibly could be. There were a lot of cars that were held up, though, from where behind the four-car was of DJ Curtis. 
It could be. Or it could be that people went, going to the turn three, four wide, maybe have caused that. Take like a wreck happened on turn three. Caution is out. Miles and Duncan are your leaders. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, let's see what happened. We didn't see what happened. Oh, right there, James and, uh... Oh, okay, right the action. There. Get involved, and Hudson was just nowhere to go at this time. James just slides up the wall. And... Oh, he gets a piece of it. And, uh, car in the wall was Kyle Matthews. Everyone else just got held up, though, but... It was, it was mainly a two-car two incident. If you want to count Matthews in the wall, that's three, but I really wouldn't count that. But that's a tough break for Jeff James, though. He didn't have a lot of damage, though. No, 60 Clay Rogers. That was actually the front row that got involved, ironically. So how did he retire, then? Uh, James, because that smacked to the wall. Hit it pretty uh. hard. But uh, caution is out. Leading them down is Benjamin Miles. Actually, the top two are one-off drivers, so amazing enough there. Caution's out. Let's take you back to the green. He starts with one left to go. Like you mentioned, Jeff James is out of race. Uh, the, other t the other cars that were involved, uh, they got damage repair of their cars, and they're back out on track. Top three is actually one-off drivers. Top two, like, for the transfer is one-off. Benjamin Miles and William Duncan. Eric and Rage is the first car out in third. Dave Rivera is the first of our regular cup drivers. He's in the fourth position. Fifth is Louvier. Sixth is Smith. Seventh is McIntyre. Eighth is Dent. Ninth is Navarro. Queen's top ten is Bird. Actually, get this. Um, fourth, fifth, sixth, and ninth are our regular cup drivers. Everyone else in the top ten are one-off. Nice. One for these one-off drivers. As the green flag is back out, we are halfway through. Mm-hmm. Half, green flag on halfway left. The uh, one-off drivers are making big statements. Even though there were 17 one-off drivers, still, they are making very big statements, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised seeing this guy move up to the front. Chris Louvier, who barely missed out on the All-Star race. He kind of got screwed at Kentucky and got screwed at Armory. Well, I'll tell you something, Louvier. He's not really going to let that slide easily. He's going to try to get one of those top two spots, no matter what position it is, whether it's first or second. Nick Smith in the 29, the Venom Chevrolet, trying to get up there to the lead, and here comes Ty Dent. Here comes, and here comes Brendan Berg. Yeah, from what we know of um, of Ty Dent is that he is a um, an outlaw racer, no, well not outlaw, but um, correct me if I'm wrong when I say this, but it's one of those. It's not an outlaw, but it's like one of those dirt dirt car racing and stuff. I can't remember exactly what it was, but. Oh man, Ty's gonna kill me as oh Navarro and Bird got a little close there, but Dento made NSRA history winning the Last of Us Light series uh, championship not long ago. And he's gonna be making his rookie debut for the Sinkers Cup series very soon, so we're gonna be looking forward to see what Dent can do. That's what we know about him. We mentioned about Berg in the Outback race. He won he he was one of the two that was there. Asian Navarro, Nick Smith, Louvier. Here's the six of Kavanaugh we mentioned about. We haven't talked about him in the cup race, though, running very well in the white Advocare Ford Fusion. Very nice looking scheme right there. Isaiah Bernick and four of DJ Curtis is up in there as well. There's Charles Jackson. We mentioned from the beginning of the program last time we had seen Charles in the cup series was last season at Zenjoltis. We have not seen him at all this season until now. But great to see Charles back in a ride. There's Skirvin. He has been really, really well in the Outback Series. One of the only female drivers to win two races in a single season in the Intercell competition. Uh, is the first for the Outback, second in ever Intercell competition. So that's some note on uh, Skirvin. Mm -hmm. And we're uh, already past three laps after, after halfway. Yep, ten to go right now. How about uh, Austin Weiner? 84, Walmart Cup Series veteran, going to be making his uh, uh, NSRA Snickers Cup Series debut as well, but he's also been a part of the Outback Series, and he won at Reiki earlier on, so we'll see him in the All-Star Race. So good to see there. There's the 66 of Jeff Blair. He wrecked out. Well, he didn't wreck out, but he wrecked in the Outback Showdown. He didn't wreck yet so far, which is a good thing, but he's hanging in there, which is a good thing right there for the 66. There's Whoa as Rivera nearly got blocked there. Cavagnaro in the 55. Last time we had seen him was last season at Zenjoltis as well. He drove to 15 at that time. 
Now in the 55, ironically, he stayed with Stuart Haas. And uh, he's in the back of the pack, but don't worry, there's still some time. There's nine to go. Same for Duncan. Who, uh, made the Outback, who uh, was in the Outback one, almost got in there. Fell apart toward the end. Eric Powers missed out on the Outback as well. Driving the 07. Father of Mason. It's Miles, who's been an Outback driver in the 98 ever since this season. You know, first time he's ever made a cup start. McIntyre for the same as well. Lombard, we've seen him in a few of the uh, series all over, whether it's been the NSRA Team Mobile Cup Series, whether it's been the IRA Monster Energy Super Speedway Series season, season 2, which is in questionable of trying to return unless they get an organization name and all that. And then Eric Enrage, we've known him from the Super Speedway as well, but he has drivers like Momo Kari and all that stuff that is in the Outback, who is going to be in the All-Star race. And then there's Clay Rogers, who's falling back there, which is not good for the 60, but he missed out in the Outback, and it doesn't look like he'll probably make the Cup one. He needs a miracle to happen, though. And then there's Matthews, who's an Outback driver as well. He's off the pace, as well as Hudson. Brendan uh, Burgess had the top 10, by the way. And uh, back up to the front, Henry Cavanaugh got the lead, and Kate wow. Irvin to second. This was one of the drivers that I mentioned from the uh, from early on that the one-off drivers that could make one of the one of the um, spots, and she is now trying to take the lead. That Coors Light Chevrolet SS, first time we've ever seen that car out in track. This car was in testing before many times, and shown some good speeds. Um, amazing enough, it was actually gonna be in the in this season, but unfortunately with the custom thing going on, it actually did not make it in. So, finally makes a start, and it's making good impressions already for the field. Henry Cavanaugh holding on that second position. Look at Isaiah Bernick in the 18. And look who's also working his way up. Anthony Ritchie. Up in the oh, here I come. Trying to get herself up to the front. Herself, not herself. It's at her. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm seeing her because there's... Shelton's calling me on the phone. Amazing. But uh, Weiner's... Uh, <laughs> what a great fail that was. What a great yeah, fail. Yeah, thank you very oh, much. Geez. Thank you for calling me a girl. Thank you very Sorry, much. Sorry, Rivera, I didn't mean to do that. Austin Weiner, though, is in the fifth position as six is now Michael Walton, who is dead last in the points, and he is working his way up to the front. How would this be for Walton to get up there and win? Now uh, look, I'm going for third place. But now Richie... Oh, I'm actually going to lead. Never mind. Richie to the lead, Weiner in the 84. Now he's going to get kicked up the high line. Three wide, and Berg again working his way up to the front. I don't think also we've had a driver that made both the showdowns to go to the All-Star race. I know they've done it in the NSC Ray when Jackson did it for all three. But, Berg. but it's Berg. an NRSL competition. I don't think so. We have some separation. Uh, do we have another? Oh, no. These drivers. Uh, what happened? What the I hell don't know. happened? I don't know. I tell you. I don't know what the hell happened. These drivers got separated, and we're still green. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jackson, don't do it. Okay, good job. <laughs> Sir, did I say Jackson? I'm sorry, Matt Daly. I'm. I'm on a roll. Yeah, I'm on a roll big time. Actually, the funny thing I've noticed that was that Jackson, the 26, that was his old ride, the 11. Uh, what am I uh, saying now? <laughs> Ty Dent fell back as well in 27. Man, a lot Let's of drivers did. The lead. Let's go back to the lead here. Yeah, four laps to go. When we reach the stripe, it will be three. Well, here, here comes the 84 car. Richie and Wine are your top two. Now, Bernic, he was thinking about making a move. Not going to make it yet. Bernic now still trying to make a move. Can't get it. Brody Tally, he didn't make the outback, but he wants to make the cup. His brother Austin's in it. Be good for Brody to make it in. That way you have some Fords as well in it. And Fords are actually in the top three right now. That's a go. Three to go. Look at McIntyre in that sixth position. He's just chilling there. Going to get that draft, and he's going to suck up that lead pass sixth right place there. Sixth only a few seconds back. Navarro's so. there. William Duncan, DJ Curtis. Navarro is also my pick to make it. Me and I. We're up in the top six. And look at some of these guys caught back up to that pack. It ain't over for some. Uh, but I'm not going to catch up there, though. Not a lot like Ernesto. But those guys like that, they got to hurry. They need to get They need to get moving. They need, they need to go to I'm falling like a rock. 
Right now. Some drivers, they would like to get in the top two to meet up with teammates. Two to go. And for one-off drivers, they want to show early statements why they want to be in cup next season. Here comes Brody. No drivers of Roush as he got oh. for. No drivers of Roush are actually in the all-star race. All oh, three of them are the 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 way is slow down like that. Oh, yeah. All three drivers of Roush are in the showdown. And then there's only one driver of Joe Gibbs that's in there as Bernice now trying to get in for second. Look at Angel Navarro in the 23. Here he comes. Navarro. Oh, my oh God. close call right there. Almost this got into the, the center third. of the miles. Straight up third. Holy crap. And Navarro was, the up, was, um, was so close to making it into the cup one, but the white flag is out. Brody is the leader. Bernique in the second. The only chance they see Navarro trying to make in the top two is that the leaders are going to battle, and that's what they're doing. They're battling for the lead. Oh, 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 here they come. Bernique's in a good right. spot, though. That was a good move by Bernique to make sure he secured himself. It's not going to have enough that run. That was a quick move. McIntyre's moved up to the fourth position. I think I'm going to the fifth. Look at me. I'm up in fifth. Actually, Eric Powers in the fifth spot, and Richie's losing back. Oh, it's basically down to... Uh, Bernique, Brody Talley, Navarro, and McIntyre. Wait a minute, these drivers are moving up high. Oh, wait, Will! I thought I saw a car in the apron. <laughs> no, I slid up in the 07 car. But here we oh. go. Off oh. turn four, and yeah. Navarro's not going to catch up. <laughs> Bernique and Brody Talley are going to make it to the All Star race. They're going to be the two to the transfer, and Brody Talley, a close call there. He almost got dumped out of the second position. He almost lost it, but. Navarro's going to be the first one out, and Bernique and Brody Talley. Roush is going to get one of their cars in there, and Joe Gibbs is going to get their second car. Now it will come down to the fan boat, which will be after this race. We'll show you the Outback fan boat and the Cup fan boat to determine who will get it. There will be only one winner. That's right, folks. One. But congrats to Bernique and Brody Talley. And here is the rest of the results, as you can see. But the first of the one-off drivers that finished well was Levi McIntyre. And whoa, these guys really just... Whoa. It's pit road with this track. It's how they are. Yeah. But um, a great, great race overall for the showdown-wise. I can't wait to see what's going to be in store for the All-Star race. So congrats to Bernique and Brody Talley. They're going to be celebrating getting into the All-Star race. And now we're going to find out, you know, the next... You know, the next videos that will be coming up will be the fan votes for the Outback and Universal Orlando. I want to thank Anthony so much for joining me on both. I appreciate it, man. It was a blast having you here. Yeah, no problem. Now i got to work things out with Keith Bass and start up, kick off his series. Absolutely. So, so, yeah, thank you for having me. So, for those who want to, like, subscribe to Anthony's channel, the link is down in the description. No, like I said, I have two channels now, so. Yeah, two channels. Hard to believe. Man, that's crazy. Uh, w, yeah. The WA Monopoly Cup Series, which is the one I know that he has, and then there's another one. The Oreo now, it's Oreo Cup Series now. Oreo, so. now. Well, at the yeah. time, enough. You you're going to have to get used to that. So. No. Well, I mean, that is your channel name. You know? Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. and then there was but a great races. race, yeah, great race. I almost won it, but I finished seventh. Not too bad. So now the fan vote in, in store. Congrats to Bernique and Tally one last time. We will see you for the fan vote, and then we will see you for the All-Star Race here at Coca-Cola. Till then... Goodbye, everybody.